So during CES 2020, companies showed off all this crazy crap about how you can have full body VR tracking and uh, all the crazy VR suits and things like that. But let's be honest, none of us can truly afford that considering it's thousands of euros away. So I decided to find an easier way, a much cheaper way of achieving full body VR tracking in case you want to have fun in VR chat or some other games. Now, I'm not the first person to do this, but I have decided to make a tutorial on this for you guys to make it easier. So, what you are going to need for this is very simple and actually pretty cheap. Well, cheap. It's about 60 euros on eBay last time I checked. And some of you might actually already have this. We're going to achieve this using a Kinect from the Xbox One. Connected to the computer and using a driver called Driver 4 VR. The Kinect will grab you as a body, like it normally does, so you connect it to an Xbox, and translate that into VR controllers. So without further ado, let's move on to the video. So as you can see here, I'm on my desktop, and what we want to do first is you want to connect your Kinect to your computer. Now the cable for my Kinect is way too short, so I have this five meter extension cable that I'm going to use. So let's just connect it real fast. So I'm not actually going to cable manage this properly because for now I just want to show you guys later on. I will make this properly. So once you have your connect connected, well first of all it'll actually show up that it's connected. If it doesn't, you might need the drivers. So I will list the drivers down in the description below. All you do is you install those like a normal software. So to make sure that your connect is working, you can open up the camera app in Windows. And here we are. It works. There we go. Beautiful tidiness. I'm going to fix that. This is how you make all your problems disappear. Okay, so once you have the camera app open, you know the Kinect works. Perfect. That's set. So next thing you want to do is you want to download Driver 4 VR. I'm not sure if there's a trial for a few days, but I think it's like 15 euro or something. It's really worth it. So here you go. This is, uh, this is Driver 4 VR's website right here. As you can see right now, it's 1597. So that's perfect. I do recommend you guys buy this because it does a lot more than just this. And I will have a video coming out on affordable finger tracking as well. Uh, so this can also be used for that or other software, free software. But I do recommend buying this software. It's a very good piece of software. So that's that. And all you do is you just install that. I'm going to have that down in the description below. This is what Driver 4 VR looks like when you turn it on. It's going to look for Steam. It's going to turn on all the Oculus software. It's going to turn on all the Steam software. So let's wait for that to happen. And the Kinect should also turn on. There it is. So as you can see here, everything is on. And what it will do is it'll actually install the necessary drivers by itself. So you can see here, I have it set up to use three trackers because I'm actually going to stop Driver 4 VR for a second so that I can show you guys exactly what to do. So when you open up Driver 4 VR, uh, it, you're going to see this list here. And what you want to do is you want to click on body tracking and connect and skeleton. I haven't tried the others yet, but uh, I will be trying them out. I believe what these are is just if you have extra controllers, which would be pretty cool. But uh, I haven't had the chance to try that yet. So I'm going to do the connect skeleton. You must restart driver for VR to apply changes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to close it and I'm going to open it again like so and here we go it's going to initialize and I have it set to auto start which means that every time I turn on Steam VR this turns on with it um, then here once you're here what you want to do is we need to switch to the headset so without further ado it's exactly what I'm gonna do uh, first you might want to click here and click calibrate and new two steps and as you can see you see yourself in the IR camera like this see your hands see your skeleton so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera with me. <sighs> Hell yeah. Okay. So now I have switched the microphone, so the audio might be pretty bad for a few seconds. As you guys can see, I'm using the VR pulley system from my video from yesterday. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to check that out. It's absolutely amazing, incredible to play on. So without further ado, let's start grabbing things and... Uh, actually getting into this. So I have my bottom-down camera recording my feet for you guys so that you guys can see. And you guys can also see on the Driver 4 VR software, my legs and arms are being tracked. So, sorry for the bad audio, 
but I don't have a mic clipped to my headset. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do the calibration. I'm going to actually enlarge this uh, screen here. Okay, apparently I can't do that. I was going to enlarge it and use it as my webcam, but it looks like that isn't happening. So I'm just going to have to show you guys. I'm going to turn on a uh, VR mirror for you guys, just so you guys can see what's going down here. Even though Oculus software keeps closing my desktop view, which is really nice. As you guys can see here to my left, there's actually my body. Well, to a certain extent because it's not calibrated. So what you guys want to do is on your desktop using virtual desktop or whatever, you want to click calibrate and then, and then you want to click got it. And this is the easy form of calibration. You put your legs, your, like this and your arms to the side and then you move forwards or backwards once it claps and it says it's ready to calibrate position two and as you can see now i've got feet got feet in vr now they are recognized as vive controllers and i've also got hips and that's all fine and dandy that's what they're recognized as and as you can see guys in the window next to me the connect is still tracking me and you can do all crazy things with your legs. If you go like this, it does kind of get wonky for a little bit, but it does come back. So let's actually start up a game. Let's start up VR Chat since it's one of the games that I know supports it. And as you can see, guys, when you start up VR Chat, your arms, your legs, your torso, they're all being recognized as these little balls here. So you want to click go. And when you get into the world, you're going to have to T pose. Good meme. But yeah, you're going to have to T-pose. So once you get into VR chat, what you need to do is you need to stick your arms into... Oh my god, I have a whiteboard here. <laughs> Can't really do that. You need to stick your arms into the character's arms and click to calibrate, just like so. And then you have arms, and you also have legs. So if we walk over to the mirror, you have legs and torso tracking in VR and you can jump <laughs> everything still works with your hands that's completely unaffected and the leg tracking is 100% there unless you like obstruct it <laughs> then it gets a little bit weird but like that's completely normal so I'm gonna unmute myself so that the mouth moves it's a little bit creepy but yeah as you can see guys this is uh this is the more affordable way of uh, getting full body tracking in VR because, well, I don't know how much the actual full body trackers are, like the Vive trackers, but what about you guys that have Oculus headsets? You might not be able to get the Vive trackers because you don't want to be getting those Vive stations and all that other crazy stuff. So this, this is truly a great way of getting full body tracking in VR without, uh, without the need to buy all that crazy stuff crazy expensive stuff and as you can see here it sort of works uh, of course it would be way more accurate if you could get the vive trackers but the entire point of this is it's affordable and it works really really well unless you turn around this is what happens when you turn around <laughs> yeah it's uh it, it doesn't really do that very well <laughs> but yeah this uh other than that this totally works <laughs> and you can totally do everything so i'm going to go back to the camera now and end off this video so as you guys can see it truly can be affordable to get full body tracking in vr and get it to work pretty damn well so if this video helped you out which i hope it did and showed you something new that was pretty cool uh, please leave a like, and if you want to see more future videos like these, which I promise you I will have, even today I'm still going to upload a video on how to get finger tracking in VR, make sure to check that one out. So if you want to see future videos like these, make sure to subscribe, ding my bell, and... <laughs>